That political infighting will be top of mind for Brampton City Councilors, including Najat Kaur Brar. As CTV's Shali Thong explains, Brar says one of her key objectives will be to build bridges while she breaks down barriers. Hi everyone, my name is Navjeet Kaur Brar, your City Council candidate for Wards 2 and 6. Oh, I'm not a candidate anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's still getting used to the new title, but Navjeet Kaur Brar is making history as the first turban-wearing sick woman elected to public office in Canada. It feels amazing. Our team has done amazing. I'm so proud of everyone. I want to thank you everyone for doing such a great job. I was born and raised in Brampton, and now I'm raising my kids here. The mother of three was able to defeat former Conservative MP Jermaine Chambers and Carmen Wilson, taking just over 28% of the vote. As a frontline health care worker, she saw what she says was an underserviced city. I've been working as a respiratory therapist for 12 years, and especially during the pandemic. We saw that we had one hospital for 700,000 people, and it was hard for me. Brar says that focus will be on eventually having three hospitals in Brampton. But Brampton Council has been famously divided as of late. Brar has also previously been a new Democrat candidate in a provincial election, but she says she's ready to work with Mayor Patrick Brown. I've been working on a health care team for so many years. We don't get to pick and choose who we want to work with. Our goal is the patient. Outside her campaign office today, Brar was consistently greeted by residents offering their congratulations. And she says as the first turban-wearing sick woman to be elected, she's able to celebrate both the real and symbolic meaning of this moment. I'm so excited, so proud that, you know, regardless of what, uh, you know, religion or faith you come from, you should become whatever you want to become. And while her election may be a first, Navjeet Kaur Brar now is tasked with being part of a solution in improving the relationship and council in Brampton. Sean Lee Thong, CTV News.